Hi everyone, it's Jenna here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, just before we start, if you already haven't seen my previous video, which is the first ever video I filmed for YouTube, that is a a video just about us picking our options for our new house then please do go and check that one out um like and subscribe if you like that video and other than that thanks for watching and let's get into it okay so let's just set things straight we actually did have an update on our house and the way it's going we was meant to be moving in on the 5th of november that was our moving date that we got given for completion but now it's been pushed back a week to the 12th of november which means um i've got an extra week to just sort my life out get organized and get packing kind of hit a brick wall the other week and realized it was four weeks till completion and hit myself because um i've just got an aladdin's cave room uh, at my mum's house that has just got everything in not organized at all i've just thrown it in as and when i bought stuff and I, I don't even know where I'm up to. So I thought I'd film this video before I start getting organised and packing everything away. Um, I'll film all the things and little bits that I've got that I'm in love with and I know that you guys will love. Um, and then after I film this, I'm going to start organising my life. Finally. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to start off with kitchen. Um, kitchen diner, shall we say. Um, I feel like your kitchen is the heart of your home. It's where you spend a lot of your time. If you like me and you're a foodie, you're gonna obviously be in your kitchen about 18 hours of your day. And for me, it was really important for it to feel nice, all cohesive, all looking really nice together. So I'll show you a few bits. So, I got a kettle and toaster now. This was a very, very premature purchase when, um, I got these a good few months ago and I saw them and they was on sale in TK Maxx Home Sense. I wanted them for ages and Aaron was fuming at me. I was like, Jenna, we are not paying um, like £100 for a kettle and then £100 for a toaster. And I was like, but why? Why? Because it's so nice. Anyway, cut a long story short, it only went on sale in uh, TK Maxx, didn't it? We've got the Breville. Breville. Breville um white it's the new yorker collection so it's the white kettle with a gold rim and a gold lid and let's have a look i've done this so many times so i'm obsessed with it i don't know how you can be obsessed with the kettle but <laughs> i am oh she's shiny shiny da -da 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 -da. shiny <laughs> So that's the kettle. We've got a matching toast just here. To... Oh my god. Oh, can I be bothered? No, I'll do it for you guys. I'll do it for you guys. You're here for the haul. You want to see it. Wow. Hello. <laughs> Thumbnail. The toaster. Sorry. So yeah, kettle and toaster are matching. Um, white base with the gold. There was about £60 each, so nice saving on them. You can't be too fuming at me for that one because I've been, you know, bargain hunting and all that. So yeah, they're the kettle and toaster. So the theme of the kitchen, I showed my kitchen on the last video. Um, the theme that we're going for is like neutrals with a gold brassy sort of um, accent. So we're going to have little bits of gold around the house. Uh, so that's why we picked that with the gold rim around it. And all of my little um, utensils have also got like a little gold rim. So I'll show you that. So we've got um, some, I don't know what these are called. Slotted spoon. A skimmer. I think that, I always use that for like poached eggs. I don't know. Um, a ladle for your soups and a spatula, uh, a slotted turner, should I say. So they're all black with gold um, accents on them. By the way, do you like my nails? Um, shout out to my bestie, Kate Hermley. Um, she does my nails. We've done a brown uh, French tips for autumn vibes. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm really sorry, but can you not with these little mini frying pans it's smaller than my head like i can make you can make the perfect fried egg in that like a little 
you know, a little yolk in the middle or uh, a perfect little mini pancake if you do like mcdonald's breakfast vibes and you scramble up the egg and make a little round egg to put onto your bagel so it's all perfect that pan is your one they're from aldi they're probably like two three pounds but the dishwasher safe warning sharp content i'm an adult now i own my own knives be serious i could have gone all out on like pro cook and all these mad websites because i love some cooking but um i've just gone for ikea part and I bought this knife specifically from Ikea. It's a massive um, chopping knife because at home we have one and I seem to just use that same knife for everything. I know you're not meant to do that. You're meant to have smaller ones for veg, like little bits of veg or I don't know. But I just literally cut everything with this and it's unreal. So obviously an assortment of wooden spoons. Probably might not even use these. They're probably just going to be for decor because I just buy stuff for no reason they were from Donnell. i don't know they were from the range the range i don't know how much they were but they must have been cheap because i wouldn't have got them otherwise this brilliant invention brilliant you're frying you're getting spit backs from your oil uh you're cooking your halloumi and it's going tick, 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 tick at you and you're like ah oh, ah you just put this all at the top and it literally stops it. It's sick. Obviously, you've got your extract fan all the top, but it just stops any splashbacks of oil and grim bits getting everywhere. So that is the best purchase so far. I'll probably say that about a lot of things, but love that. Can't wait to use it. Crashing in the background. I'm just breaking half the stuff. I picked up from B&M one of these. This was £5 just to split a um, serving dish. So I thought these would be good for things like, I don't know, putting potatoes and veg or like um, if you're having a party, like crisps and dip. We have got a chopping board. This is from Dunnell. It was £11. Really nice. I love how these look nice when they're just like, they look stood up on the back of the um, worktop underneath your cupboards. And it just looks really cute and you can put like a few like salt and pepper things in front and it just looks really nice on the side but you can also a wooden chopping board is essential for um when you're actually chopping things so usually if you use a marble chopping board it can blunt your knives so using a wooden chopping board is what i've learned from my grandma and my mum the best for cooking like chopping things on like your veg um meats and anything like that uh, so that's why I bought a wooden one. To go for tea, coffee and sugar, I searched high and low to find something like the three tins that were going to match the kitchen and the colours. But because we've done split colour weight, I just couldn't find the right one and they all had coffee and tea written on. And I'm not about, no offence if you are, I'm not about stuff that has got illustrated or like... Um, really really personalized stuff on as well you know like where it states what it is more for a label maker i've got a label maker like i will do that myself but not on my coffee tea sugar stuff that's outside on display so i found these in uh, home bargains i think it was like two pounds each it's just got bamboo lid it says so i've got three of these jars for tea coffee and sugar and no doubt i'll probably buy some more for organizing in my cupboards as well with my label maker so i've seen Pramac home bits circulating for a good few weeks now and I was all here for it. I was so excited. Oh my god, I dragged Darren into Primark home after work on Monday evening and I was like, we need to go, we're going because there's so much stuff that I really want in there. Got there and it were pants. I'm not gonna lie, I was really disappointed. There was one left of each of these things that I've got here and I was kind of buzzing, felt like they was there for me. Um they go so well with the kitchen and the vibe and so we have got a butter dish from Primark Home. It literally looks like something that H&M Home would have um, for probably half the price. Well, it was £8 actually. I don't know if that's good. But yeah, it's like ceramic, it's pot. And it's got this really nice textured sort of material, not material, um, design on that bit. And then it's flat and matte here, really cute. Don't come at me. I have a butter dish because I've all, I've only known this. We get proper butter, like not margarine. We get proper butter in my house and we put it on the side and it's obviously cold, but then ready for when you toast. Oh my God, there's nothing better. Toast comes straight out of the toaster. You just get a nice slice of the butter um, and it's a little bit warm, so it's a little bit melted. Oh my God, it goes so nice on your toast because it's like proper salted butter, like the real deal. You need one of these just try it just try it even if you don't have butter maybe just get one to the side you know 
then we have got this was seven pounds from primark a little cute jug for like milk i don't know who i think i am and i've never ever ever done this in my life but i might buy a teapot and then when my friends come around we can have a tea party <laughs> um and i could use this for some milk you know <laughs> just thinking of all the options but yeah i just loved it so i picked it up that is really cute okay so on to crockery our tableware we have got um this sort of pattern from Dunelm and it's ceramic on the bottom like really natural and then it's got a few splashes of gray on there and then a neutral cup so we've got these cups we've got four of these cups then we'll have a large plate a small side plate and a bowl and we've got four of them each for our tableware and they're all in this same pattern and the plates just have this rim on them they're from the range and i think it was about 29 pounds for the pack they're called oslo um and then you buy the cup the mug separate and they're like two pound or a pound each which is unreal because they look gorgeous they're like something you probably get again from zara home h&m home um really really nice um not much else to say but home sense is your one for kitchen towels um pot towels these were 5.99 and i think this set of four and they're this gorgeous sort of neutral color again which is the color of our bottom cupboards in the kitchen so i'm really excited to use them so every man and his dog has got these um cups from ikea but i just i kind of want to say that i did get them ages ago when they first came out so i was one of the ogs but i've just never shown anyone but let's be serious there's going to be people who have got these before me but yeah so they are i don't know what range they're from now i can't remember um i don't know but these these cups from ikea gorgeous so i've got i think it's six of each so but they're really nice i love them i'm obsessed with them one of my favorite all-time purchases ikea doing bits stunning nothing needs to be said the nicest coops i've ever seen is it coops coupes coops they are so nice they look like you'd buy them from like an antique store literally like they are they're stunning just like making my own pond style martini with my cocktail shaker at home like oh yeah cheers gals cheers honeys i'm sorry about aldi also doing bits again rattan um woven placemats and coasters so for each of them bargains I also got the matching jug to this one. So um, you can even put flowers in that, like a little vase. But this is good for when we're outside in summer next year. Um, we can have all of our sort of drink drinks. Like we could even make a sangria. Put that in there. Love it. I bought some cake tins and a few other little cooking trays from Aldi. They actually had a baking um, section, well not section, a little set and it got like, you got all of these in with some cooking trays which was so good. I did buy them at the start of the year though, so I can't remember how much that was. But again, just go down Aldi Special Buys aisle, it is so good for home stuff. So, okay, we're on to the proper like decor, decor bits for the house. You know, bunny tails. On a serious note, my mum went to York with a boyfriend and she walked past this little stall and it was a flower stall, like um, a florist, and they had all dried flowers as well. So she picked me up these two sets of bunny tails. So we've got like a neutral brownie set and then the cream set. Again, home sense doing bits. I'm not going to show you the mirror because you're going to see all of my messy background in the back, which is really, really fun. Uh, like I said, it looks like a car boot sale. This was twelve ninety nine, and it's got a gold rim with a mirror um, sort of base on it. I'm thinking we can put this on our footstool with our sofa and put like coasters on it, um, the pillar candles, things like that, and a few, maybe a coffee table book, like every man and his dog's got. Um, so, yeah. This um, ceramic pot is from Ikea. I didn't really see much of it um, like on the site, but I was scrolling for ages once and I came across it. And they have a black one as well with like this coloured bottom on it. Um, and I think this was probably like £18 or something. Um, but it's really, really nice. I thought that 
would go nice on the dining table um, as a centerpiece, you know, with a, a runner on it. I've just got a clear vase from Ikea as well. Um, just put some gypsophilia or some small plants in that, uh, small flowers in it, and that will go nicely on the windowsill. Some pillar candles set. We are actually having a media wall built. Oops. So um, we're having like six little alcoves in the media wall. So I was thinking a collection of pillar candles would look really, really nice all stuck together on a tray. Um, bought some four coasters from Home Sense. So they're like a marble effect. These are really, really heavy, like really heavy, good quality. And they've got the little stoppers on the bottom as well, which is good. Um, so we'll just have them scattered around the house downstairs. So... When I went to London in July, was it July? Um, may or may not have gone in H&M home. I mean, I've never been in a H&M home store in my life. And they're the best place I've ever been. I wish I could buy the whole store. Um, honestly, the stuff's just gorgeous and it's so reasonably priced as well. So I picked up a few bits, so I'll just show you. These are for my dressing room. Oh my God, pastel green candles, can we not? I'm in the sale for £1 and I wish I'd have picked up like seven more because I'll probably go through these so much. I don't think I'll ever be able to light them. But in my dressing room, I'm thinking all neutrals with pops of pastel colours everywhere. So they're perfect. And I've got these ones for just either in the lounge with all of the other neutral things. Or just anywhere really in the hallway um, or in the bedroom. We'll find somewhere for them to go. Then got another pillar candle. Can you tell I'm obsessed with them as decorative pieces? This is so cool. It's like... I don't know, it's got like a marble effect on it or something. I don't know how they've done that with the wax. Um, but I've got this pillar candle from H&M Home. Um, I'm probably not going to light these, let's be serious. I think this was £6.99 for this one. This is officially my favourite purchase yet. And I am going to be getting more stuff from H&M Home. So um, be prepared for many vases to be on the scene. Stunning, stunning. Nine ninety nine, bargain. Oh my god, pamper. Just imagine. Ooh, vibes. I'll show you all when it's all done, and I can't wait to show you all when it's all done. But that is pride of place in the living room. Just a little sneak peek of Christmas. Um, I nipped in M and S the other day, and may or not, may not have. I got a little Christmas tree. How cute. It's got a stone base. Like, ugh. vibe for Christmas is home alone vibe. So, like, red and green. Um, with every because everything else is neutral in the house, we just want it to be so cozy. Still want it to look quite classy. So stuff like this is just gonna really tie it all together, like all of the random red bits to make it look expensive still. Cause you know you can go a bit overboard on the red, which I probably will end up doing, and it look really in your face in a bit tacky but pulls in with that i'm obsessed with it i think it was like nine nine pound fifty for just that but it's so nice i love it i can't wait i want to get like five more of these and just scatter them around the house we've got really neutral tiles again like cream tiles in both the bathrooms you'll have to go and watch the other video that i filmed and then uh, you can see what i'm talking about but i'll show you all the bathroom bits that i've bought so far i want spa central vibes i think everyone wants that from a bathroom but literally like just creams neutral oh i'm just in heaven right now you know what? went to jisk I love this for the bathroom. I mean, you can put it absolutely anywhere in your house, don't get me wrong. But how fitting is this coral just on the windowsill, living its best life? Oh, oh my God. Like, if I had a fish tank, this would be going in the fish tank. It'd be so aesthetic. Like, oh my God, stop. It smells a bit funny. Oh, I'm going to have to use the floor with that because I think it's just covered in dust. I've done this to myself one bathroom um gold spa central vibes the other bathroom like uh black matte black vibe with um i don't know hints of the stony nice sort of looking colors so home sense stop it right now i think i've noticed that i'm obsessed with ribbed stuff and i don't know why it is gorgeous i love it it just must be my type of thing this gorgeous soap dispenser with the gold lid 
the gold pumper. Um, I also got the matching um, like toothbrush holder or like, what's it called? Tumbler. And the soap dish, but you could put anything in there. So like your jewelry when you're taking it off, um, like soap, anything, cotton pads you could just have next to each other and cotton buds in this if you want. So they were from Home Sense. This and this is from uh, Matalan Home. Oh my God. So it's matte black and then it's like grey with this ribbed again i've obviously got something for it ribbed stone ceramic um feel um pot and then this is the tumbler again and then i do have for both of them matching um toilet brushes for your doodos and this is like the first light i've bought but we've actually just bought some today online from m s like lamps but this is a ceiling light which so it was actually on um, special price because I'd seen this online for like £35 and then I went into Dunelm itself and it had it here for £25 because the, the packaging had been damaged on it. Um, it was just a return as they didn't want it, whoever ordered it online. So it's this LED light for the hallway. So I'll put that up on the ceiling. Um, it's just dead simple, really. And I just thought with it being 25 quid, how could you not? It'd be rude not to. I nearly forgot. Oh my God, this is so sick from Aldi. So premature again. I'm not even in the house yet. It's not even summer yet. We're going into winter. Don't shout at me. Are you ready for this? When I have my birthday in August and I have a full house party and a garden party and everything, it's a pineapple dispenser. So it's glass. You can put hot or cold in here. Oh my God, I am can't wait. I'm here for it. You know what I mean? Unreal. So I like to think that I'm a DIY queen. Um, I am a DIY queen. I put all my Ikea packs, um, wardrobes together and all my flat pack drawers everywhere you see i did that myself so i'm going to be doing all my own paneling i'm going to be trying putting up shelves mirrors everything um just try and cut costs i'm going to have a go myself i am quite handy so i treated myself hey wendy where's bob the builder <laughs> my own um diy like toolkit so i've i've literally got um spirit level got one of them in here got my own hammer knock 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 who's there i've got pliers i'm going under the sink me i'm fixing our dishwasher you know what i mean it's not spirit level it's probably not even that good like it is the cheapest thing on earth it works it works it's fine um but yeah got that from tesco's i love Tesco's. Other than making my room an absolute tip and throwing everything everywhere. Oh, so that is it. That's done. I'm done. Anything that you want to know more details on, if you've got any other questions of what I've bought recently for the house, then please do comment below or you can message me on my Instagram account, which is oakhurst underscore est 2021. I'll link that below as well for you. Uh, yeah, so any questions, I will answer those. Other than that, next video may or may not actually be um a empty house tour unless i take you somewhere first i'm probably gonna film actually actually no i will be filming um, and vlogging our moving process so me packing up my room at my mum's house and us traveling and getting all the stuff to the house um i hopefully will get that up before the empty house tour so that it makes sense and goes all in order um, but yeah if you're excited for the next few videos and you've enjoyed this one please do like and subscribe and comment down below and let me know what you enjoyed and if there's anything else you want to see from me thanks guys see you later